Hey guys, it's Marianne from Thrive and welcome back to my channel. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can take a presentation that you've put together in PowerPoint and make it into something that is what we call evergreen content. So a piece of content that you can use over and over again. A really good example for this is if you have a PowerPoint presentation that you get asked to present all the time, and sometimes your time is limited, okay? So you may want to be able to put it up as a, a teaching tool for other staff. You may want to put it up as a paid product that you sell somewhere. You could even have it as an embedded video on your website that just people can come and catch whenever they need to. It could be training. It could be information about the business. It could be a service that you offer, whatever it might be. Or another thing if you're running your own business is that it could be a lead magnet. So it could be a, a bite-sized masterclass that you've recorded with presentation slides that means you don't need to use your face in the video but you can then play it and people can watch it without you needing to use your valuable time to teach it and be there um, either virtually or in person so what we're looking at here is converting our powerpoint presentation into a video all inside powerpoint so we're not using additional software we're doing it all from this one program now the trick here is that what we want to do is make sure that you've already done your voice recordings or your voiceovers. Now there's another video on the channel that talks about that. So if you haven't already done that or figured out how to do that, that's the video to watch and I will link it in the notes to this one. Once you've got all of your recordings set up and you're happy and you're ready with the finished product, this is the video for you and we're going to export it out. Now I'm working in PowerPoint on a Mac on the desktop but it will be exactly the same process whether you are on a PC or a Mac um, or on the web. I think it works for all three. I'm just double checking, but it should be. Um, the web is always sometimes a bit funny, but it should be exactly the same. So what we're going to do is once we've got everything ready, I've done my recordings. You can see I've got the recordings are done here on the slides. So I've done, they're all sitting there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go up to file and I'm going to choose export. So not save, we're going to export it. And when we're exporting it, now remember, the place that you put it needs to be somewhere that, pardon me, you'll be able to then export it again or link it either as an embedded file or to upload it to, if you're going to put it into something like your website or on a landing page or on a, a a platform that allows you to teach it as a, as a digital product, you need to make sure that it's somewhere that you can access it to do that. I would always recommend obviously putting it on OneDrive, but again, it's up to you. If it's something that you're going to share from your own OneDrive or your own system to people who purchase it or have a link, then make sure that you put it into a folder that will allow you to share it with anyone who has the link. Okay, so sometimes your folder structure might have some different permissions on it. That's just a little tip. So think about where it's going to go. So I'm going to pop mine onto my OneDrive and I'm going to pop it just, I'm just going to pop it into my main OneDrive folder. So I'm just going to pop it here um, and I might just pop it. Yeah, I'll just leave it into that in that folder on there. I'm not going to drill down. The important part is here where we're at the file format. So the standard or the default is for it to go to PDF. What we're going to do then is we're going to export and we're going to change it to an MP4 or an MOV. So mine gives me MOV because I'm on my Mac, but I'm going to make it an MP4. When we do that, we've got a few options that pop up when we go to MP4. So the compression type, um, I'm going to make it H.264, HEVC. I'm going to leave that one alone. The quality here is up to you. So the largest, oops, largest file size and full quality um, at full HD. You can go to Ultra HD, which runs at these different sizes. Uh, you can run it HD or standard. So I would say the absolute minimum you'd go to would be HD. I tend to go at full HD at 1080 um, pixels. 1080 is this, this sort of the recommended for most uses. Obviously, the higher the quality you go, the longer it's going to take or the 
the longer the process will be depending on the size of your video to actually convert it. So just think about that as well. If it's a massive video uh, or a massive presentation, full HD, you're just going to have to be able to keep this running is probably my tip here. Now you can decide if you want to use your recorded timings and narration or not. So if you've already got some set timings about how you move from slide to slide, you would have this ticked. If there is a, t a slide that doesn't have a set timing here, you can set a default time. So if you have a presentation that is purely for people to read, you're not going to do anything else, you're not going to, or you might just, you just want it to run as a, a quiet embedded video somewhere, you can decide how long it is before each slide ticks over. Okay. Assuming you don't have the timing set on the individual slides in PowerPoint. So then we're going to click export or create video if you're on a PC, perhaps. So we go export. And what's going to happen is you can see down the, oops, down the bottom there, it's converting it and you can see how slowly it is moving. So on your PC, a couple of other tips on your PC, there'll be a save as type box like I've chosen there with um, MP4. So you can make an MP4 or Windows media video or uh, potentially now you might it might come up as a ClipChamp or stream video. MP4 is the preferred or recommended for most best compatibility with most video players. That's going to tick away. Uh, that one might not be too bad. The progress bar there will be um, available while you're working in other things. Once it's there, it will be in your folder as a video that you can then share, you can embed, you can upload, you can do what you want with. But that is the way to do it without having to jump from one program to another. So if you found this video really helpful, then make sure that you subscribe to the channel to get all of the latest updates. Check out my other videos on PowerPoint to help you get so much more out of this really, really powerful tool. And if you've got any questions about working with Microsoft PowerPoint or the other Microsoft 365 tools, please get in touch. Have a great day.